Before we get too deep into talking about which Sonic is the fastest and how this is all calculated out, let's just lay out some general ground rules first so that we make sure we're all on the same page. First, we're only looking at how fast Sonic runs. That means no rolling down hills as a ball, no wisps, and certainly no cars. Also, this is just normal Sonic, so no Super Sonic or any type of alternate forms will be appearing in the video. That will be another video later on, if you guys want it. We're only looking at Sonic games today, no Super Smash Bros. or Olympic Games for making any appearance at all. Speaking of Sonic games, which ones are we looking at? Well, basically every Sonic game we see Sonic running in, unless it's a mobile game. We're also not looking at the demakes of Sonic Unleashed, Generations, Colors, or Lost World. I just didn't want to go through and do those games since they already follow a very similar structure to the standard definition or high definition version of their respective games. And also no Sonic Labyrinth today. He just walks very slowly and I don't need to be the person to tell you that this is the slowest Sonic moves in any game. Now, not every single one of these measurements are going to be 100% accurate, but I'm confident enough that these numbers I'm presenting to you are correct with about one or two points of deviation for error. Finally, I'll be going over the different methods used to measure Sonic speed as they come up. This is just so the beginning of the video isn't super math heavy and that it's actually a lot more enjoyable to watch. With that, let's take you through my journey of using math to figure out which Sonic game gives us the fastest Sonic. I hope you enjoy. I'm out of here! In order to figure out how fast the blue blur runs, there are a few things we need for our calculations. The first of these is just knowing how to calculate speed. The equation is actually really simple. We just take the distance of a given area we're going to have Sonic run, divide it by the time it takes Sonic to run that distance, and that gives us how fast he's moving. That brings up the question of how we're going to measure the distance that Sonic runs. I think the first place we should start is figuring out Sonic's height. Then we can use that to measure the ground he runs on. So what is Sonic's height? Well, according to Sonic Channel's website, Sonic is 100 centimeters or about 3 feet 3 inches tall. And that's it, right? That's all we need to find? short answer is no. The long answer is that we canonically have two different versions of Sonic with two noticeably different heights. Those being our friend Modern Sonic and then Classic Sonic who is notably shorter than Modern Sonic. Because these two different versions of Sonic appear in different games, we also need to get Classic Sonic's height. So how are we going to measure that? Well gosh darn, if only there was a game with both Classic and Modern Sonic in it. In Whitespace, we're able to get side profiles of Classic Sonic and Modern Sonic, giving us an easy way to measure how tall Classic Sonic is. This is actually where our first measurement we will use to get the distance will come into place. I call it the centimeter to pixel ratio. Let's use it to measure Classic Sonic here. If we know Modern Sonic is 100 centimeters tall, then we just take how many pixels Modern Sonic is, which is 166 pixels. We then take his 100 centimeter height, divide it by 166 pixels, and we can see that every pixel on screen is 0.6 centimeters, or 0.6 centimeters per pixel. We then measure Classic Sonic and see he is roughly 136 pixels tall. We then take our 0.6 centimeter per pixel from before, multiply it by Classic Sonic's pixel count, and we get a height of 81.6 centimeters tall, or about 2 feet 8 inches. Now that we have a number as our basis for measuring, we can start measuring out the speeds of Sonic in every game. I already did the work, so let's just start off with the slowest version of Sonic and make our way to the fastest. You know, in videos like these, people are always like, let me know in the comments below which game you think Sonic is the fastest or slowest in. So let's switch it up, because I think that's lame. Instead, in the comments below, let me know which game you think Sonic is the uh, 13th fastest in. Also, if you want more content like this, then leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel goes a long way. Thanks. In last place, running at a mere 12.34 miles per hour. We have Sonic Blast. Yeah, um, he's not running too fast here. For context, you're able to go faster in school zones than Sonic can run in this game. You know, I, maybe I shouldn't be encouraging people to speed in school zones, so um, don't do that and keep the kids safe. I'm not going to give a long-winded explanation for every single game, just because we have a lot to go through, but I will be mentioning every single one. I just want to preface that before we get too deep into this list. If you had to guess where Modern Sonic would first appear in this list, what would you say? 20th place? 25th, maybe 30th? Well, you're wrong. In 36th place, running at 13.83 miles per hour, we have Sonic Lost World. He's just really, really slow in this game. Like, you can bike faster than him right now, which is just crazy to think about. Anyways, let's just knock these next four out of the way since they're all Game Gear games. In 8-bit Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic moves at 14.07 miles per hour. In 8-bit Sonic the Hedgehog 2, he runs at 16.51 miles per hour. 
Sonic Triple Trouble literally inches out ahead with Sonic running at 16.54 miles per hour, and in Sonic Chaos, Sonic runs at 16.87 miles per hour. Little guys moving up in the world, not dead last, but also if Sonic were to move any faster in these games, I think it would be nearly impossible to tell where you were going. Same with the next entry in our list. Beating out Sonic Chaos by a mere 0.02 miles per hour, let's give it up for everyone's favorite Genesis game, Sonic 3D Blast. Now the isometric view of this game made it a little bit harder to measure out the distance, but using his shadow, we're able to get the numbers we needed for our calculation. Holding our number 30 spot is the game that started it all. Traveling at 22 miles per hour, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, there are spots in this game where Sonic would definitely roll faster than these speeds, but the max I was able to get him to run was 22 miles per hour, so take that as you will. Wanna know what's funny? The very first classic Sonic game, and the most recent classic Sonic game, are right next to each other in this list. Yep, Sonic Superstars is next, having Sonic run at 29.26 miles per hour. This is where we start seeing different strategies involved in making Sonic run at his max speed. I had Sonic run through these fun speed booster thingies that fling Sonic all around the stage. I don't know what they are or what they're called, but I think they're neat. Anyways, number 28 sees us go back to the 90s with Sonic 3 and Knuckles, where we see Sonic running at 29.45 miles per hour. Now I decided to have these games together since this is how they were meant to be played, and honestly I think it just makes more sense since they're built off the same engine and have the exact same graphics. This and the next game both require you to bounce off a spring to get that max speed, so just keep that in mind. Now, this game may be a bit controversial because of how I measured Sonic's speed. In 27th place is Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure, with Sonic traveling at 30.21 miles per hour. Now, I made the assumption that Sonic here is modern Sonic, since the title card shows us an adventure-styled Sonic, and the endgame sprite has a green-eyed Sonic instead of a black-eyed Sonic. I know some people may try and argue that this is classic Sonic, but it is my belief that Sonic here is in his modern incarnation, and not his classic version. These next three are all classic Sonics, so let's speed run through them quickly. Running at 30.47 miles per hour, we have classic Sonic and Sonic Forces. Outrunning him at 31.35 miles per hour with his super peel out, we of course have Sonic CD. And outspeeding Sonic CD by a mere 1.38 miles per hour, we see Sonic and Sonic Mania running at 32.73 miles per hour. Starting here at spot 23, we're transitioning into a lot more of modern Sonic's games. There are a couple of classic Sonic games left, but they won't show up for a little while. Anyways, we actually have a duology for spots 23 and 22. I'll give you a couple seconds to think about which games they are. Okay, got a guess in mind? Well, if you said Sonic Rivals 1 and 2, then you'd be correct. Actually, Sonic Rivals 2 takes the 23 spot at 35.17 miles per hour, and Sonic Rivals is slightly faster seeing Sonic run at speeds of 36.09 miles per hour. These two games have Sonic run at such similar speeds that they really are interchangeable, but that's just how the numbers came out to be. Following these two games, we have another handheld game. Sonic and Sonic Advance 3 runs at 39.55 miles per hour. If you need something to compare that to, the average 10 year old child can throw a baseball at 40 miles per hour, so uh, yeah. Another handheld duology takes up our next two spots, and the first game is to use the boost style of gameplay, those being Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure. So in my notes, I have Sonic and Sonic Rush Adventure running at 44.09 miles per hour, while in Sonic Rush he runs at 44.2 miles per hour, which is literally less than a 0.2 mile per hour difference. So I'm willing to say these two styles of Sonic run at the exact same speed because I could have over or under measured either one of these games when I was doing my distance measurements. Next, we're going back to classic Sonic and Sonic 2. In this game, Sonic runs at 46.03 miles per hour, which is the fastest of the classic Sonic tetralogy of games released on the Sega Genesis. You. Don't. Count. 17th and 16th place on our list are occupied by another game that is split into multiple parts, being Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2 seeing Sonic run at 46.25 miles per hour, and Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1 having Sonic run at 51.27 miles per hour. Now it's interesting that these sets of games see Sonic running at different paces, but I guess he just got a little tired out of the events following Episode 1. Now we are entering the top 15, and this is where we see our first 3D game on our list, that being 2009's Sonic and the Black Knight. In this game, by defeating enemies, you're able to fill up a soul gauge. Once it's filled up a little, you can do what's called a soul surge to lunge at your enemies, defeating them quickly. What happens if you don't have enemies right in front of you? Well, Sonic just goes flying forward until his soul gauge runs out, or he hits another enemy. So now that we know how fast Sonic can move, how do we measure the speed he travels at? Well, we do this by, what I'm calling, counting rings. It's like counting cards, but without the gambling. And without the cards. And basically it's nothing like counting cards actually. 
By measuring the size of each ring, or the fairy aura in this case that gives you rings, we're able to determine how big one of these are. By then counting how many rings Sonic collects in a given time, and by seeing how big the gap is between each ring, which is usually about one ring or slightly more, we can determine how fast Sonic travels at. So now taking all this into account, we can know for sure that Sonic runs at about 53.04 miles per hour in this game. Alright, I know that's a lot to take in, but strap in because the next game is going to require a lot of math to solve Sonic speed. The next game on our list is Sonic and Sonic Adventure 2. Now this method is going to be a little different than the ring counting method we've used before. And all this is thanks to some stairs. So I would typically be outside right now, but my cameraman is gone at college. So I have to do this by myself. So basically in the early 90s, there were a lot of games that used stairs, obviously. Uh, games like Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2, for example. Well, they didn't exactly use stairs. See, for us, stairs is like one step and then two step. I'm using a step stool because it's all I got right now. Uh, one step and two step. But in early 3D games, it was really hard to code characters walking up steps. It'd be really jittery, you know? Moving like this. So what they decided to do is actually use slopes, but then texture it so that it looks like steps. So we see this in Sonic Adventure and in Sonic Adventure 2. If you ever run up the steps in uh, Mystic Ruins or ridden the steps in City Escape, like shown in the clip before. So what we're able to do is actually measure the height and the length of each step and then get the hypotenuse, uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, get the hypotenuse of each step and then count how many steps that Sonic runs down. And from there, we're able to figure out the distance and then from there, figure out how fast he's running. So in Adventure 2, we find some steps, run down them as fast as we can and get a speed of 54.01 miles per hour. Not as fast as rolling around at the speed of sound, but still pretty darn fast for a hedgehog. Now this next one you might be expecting or might not be expecting, I don't know, I'm not you, but it's Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. So, were you able to guess it? From before, when I asked you to comment below what the 13th fastest game is? Well, if you did, thanks for playing then. If you didn't, then why are you here? What are you doing here? How about this, how about this? As long as you subscribe, I guess I can forgive you. Sound good? Okay, great. Anyways, by using our ring counting method from before and having Sonic run through a mock speed section, we were able to figure out that Sonic runs at 63.1 miles per hour in this game during these mock speed sections. Other than that, Sonic just moves so slow in this game, it's actually unreal. Following 06 is Sonic Adventure. Using our same measurements as we used in Sonic Adventure 2, we're able to calculate that Sonic here runs at 66.54 miles per hour, just barely edging out Sonic 06 by under 2 miles per hour. The other half of the storybook series, Sonic and the Secret Rings, occupies our number 11 spot. By maxing out your speed and doing Sonic's speed break, Sonic's able to reach his top speed in this game, his top speed being 72.67 miles per hour. Now we're moving on to our top 10. You might be a little surprised, but our number 10 spot belongs to Sonic and Shadow the Hedgehog. In this game, by plugging in a second controller, you can have someone else control any of the other characters Shadow encounters throughout the story, one of which is Sonic. By having Sonic run fast and by measuring the distance, we're able to see that Sonic runs at 74.56 miles per hour. Also, you could do this with him. I don't know what it is, but I think it's pretty funny. Number 9 sees our last appearance of Classic Sonic, which is to probably no one's surprise, Classic Sonic from Sonic Generations. Now this is by far the fastest we've seen Classic Sonic move in any of the games he's appeared in. Traveling at 78.55 miles per hour, this is almost double the speed we see him since his last time he appeared on their list. He's fast alright, but just not as fast as some of the other contenders on our list. Our number 8 spot brings us back to the Game Boy Advance with Sonic Advance. In this game, Sonic is able to travel at speeds up to 79.43 miles per hour, which is just crazy fast. What's even crazier is that number 7 is taken by the game's sequel, Sonic Advance 2. Here we see Sonic run at blistering speeds of 90.18 miles per hour. This game increases Sonic's speed based on how many rings he has, so the more rings he's holding, the faster he goes. Finally, our last game to have Sonic move under 100 miles per hour is actually Sonic Heroes. In this game, we see Sonic, and subsequently Tails and Knuckles as well, run at 98.46 miles per hour. These types of speeds are unprecedented for people to see usually, unless there's some maniac on the road ignoring speed limits, or you just want to see how fast your car can go on an open stretch of road with no one around. I've definitely never done that one before. Now on to our top 5 games. These games see Sonic traveling well over 100 miles per hour, 
And actually, there are two games that have Sonic travel at roughly the exact same speed. Like, less than 0.1 miles per hour difference in my testing. Those being Modern Sonic and Sonic Forces, and Sonic and Sonic Colors. Both of these games have Sonic running through levels at 113 miles per hour. As long as they're not running in a 2D section though. See, in these games, and most other 3D games, Sonic's speed is reduced when he runs through a 2D section compared to a 3D one. It's pretty obvious in Sonic Frontiers, but it's harder to realize in some other Sonic games. Speaking of those other games, Modern Sonic and Sonic Generations takes the number 3 spot. Clocking in at speeds of 138.81 miles per hour, Sonic runs faster than most cars even allow. It's crazy the kind of energy this guy needs to run at these speeds, but you really feel it when you're playing as him in Sonic Generations. Now for our final two contenders. And let's be honest, we both know it would come down to these games, but which one's faster? Traveling at 150.26 miles per hour is... Sonic Frontiers. Which means our number one spot is going to be Sonic Unleashed. Now I bet you're wondering how much faster Sonic is in this game compared to Sonic Frontiers. Maybe he's about 5 to 10 miles per hour faster. Maybe even 20. Well, this game blows those numbers out of the water. At his top speed, Sonic is traveling upwards of 225 miles per hour. This is faster than any known animal on planet Earth can travel, and definitely faster than any speeding laws allow for. Looking back on it though, this video was a lot of fun to make, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. We're not done yet though because I have a little bit of trivia for you all. In Sonic Lost World, we can see Sonic running at 13 miles per hour. Four years later in Sonic Forces, we see Sonic running at 113 miles per hour. This 869% increase means that, based on how exponential growth works, in 2033, Sonic will be running four times faster than the speed of light. Yep, that's what we're ending with. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're new here, then hey, welcome aboard. If you enjoyed this video, you should leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, because in the next math-related video, we're talking about knuckle strength, and that's something you wouldn't want to miss out on. Comment down below which characters I should talk about after Knuckles. I also have a Discord server you can join if you want a place to just chat and hang out and have a good time. Anyways, that's all from me folks. Have a great day everyone. Peace.